this is what it means. It's uh, uh, user one's bit is here. So this is y. Y is user one's transmission multiplied by or the spreading sequence times alpha one plus this overlap signal, which is what this term represents, and that is this plus so it's plus this plus the Gaussian noise that occurs in the same interval. Okay, so we apply this to the mesh filter. The mesh filter output is this, Sx. So remember, Sx is equal to 1 over root and b, that's 1, because user 1 is the user of interest. I'm only interested in detecting user 1, and I'm going to pretend the other users uh, don't exist, and that the interference they generate is all noise. So uh, that's Sx, so this is equal to alpha 1, excuse me, the output of the match filter is Sx dot y, so this is the dot form, the dot product form of the match filter, and this is alpha 1, that's 1 dot Sx, plus Two shift k with bits v1 and v2 dot sx plus n dot sx. Which is equal to okay. Uh, I said a second ago this term uh, s1 is root n b times sx. So root n b times sx dot sx is just root n b. So that's root n b alpha 1 plus um, this term I don't want to deal with yet. I'll just leave it. Plus uh, n dot sx. So n is standard white Gaussian noise. Sx is a normalized basis vector, and we know that whenever we have that, uh, thinking back to when we talked about it uh, in signal space, generally the, uh, the variance of this is 0 over 2ts times the sum over the uh, filter coefficient squared. But the sum of the filter coefficient squared is just equal to the norm squared of the filter coefficients. And the norm squared of a normalized vector is just 1. So this is equal to n0 over 2ts. So what do we have? We have this is signal. This is the signal that we want. This is noise. This is the noise part that we that we're accustomed to dealing with. This is the interference. So in basically in multi-user detection, what we do is we group these two together. And in single user detection, we group these two together. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to group the interference with the noise and deal with them both the same way. First, I'm going to do a short example. So, um, I'm going to say um, uh, I'm going to say. Uh, what is uh, S1, excuse me, Sx 
dot S2 shift K with bits B1 and B2. So what we're going to say is S, S1, the first user spreading sequence, is equal to this. Uh, we used this last time. Which is 